and welcome to Horizons, the anime news show, where today we're talking about a surprising news story. Surprising news story? Very what's, what's come surprising. Up? Adult Swim has announced that they have commissioned two new seasons, not one, but two, of Furikuri. What? A.K.A. F.L.C.L. F.A. A.K.A. Fully Cooly. Yes. What? Yes. That's exactly <laughs> what is happening. Q anime fans worldwide going nuts which is what precisely what the press release said which i think is awesome um so apparently apparently fully cool done very well on adult swim and they've announced that they're going to be um commissioning 12 new episodes so basically two new seasons of furikuri kazuya turamaki the original creator will be back uh to work on it who will supervise it'll be directed by katsuyuki motohiro who directed psychopaths um, the TV series and the movie, uh, as well as the Space Travelers movie. He came up with a story for that. Otherwise, hasn't done much. Um, but uh, character designer Yoshiyuki Satomoto, who did Evangelion and pretty much everything else Gainax does, uh, will be uh, on board. And uh, writer Hideto, uh, Hideto Iwai, who wrote Last Dinner and Sudden Bye Bye. He hasn't done much anime work. Um, interestingly, he's an actor uh, who acted in the Parasite live action movies oh can't wait so that's to see interesting those. Wow. i don't know you know don't, don't know why they, they picked him but i mean i'm sure he'll do well hmm. um so yes they, they've announced this they will premiere in uh probably late 2007 early 2018 so it'll be a few years mm. before you actually see it on adult swim uh it will be uh, animated by production ig hmm. not gynax whereas before it was a an ig and gynax co-production so we're not going to see necessarily quite the Gainax craziness we saw before, maybe. Uh, although IG has been doing more and more interesting stuff. I mean, they did Attack on Titan. They did Kill Bill Volume 1. Um, so who knows? Ooh. But this seems kind of interesting. Adult Swim yeah. is doing this. Yeah. So it's, the U.S. is mm. commissioning something yeah that's unbelievable. That's very interesting. I mean, wow. we haven't seen this in years well, over when here. Was the last time? Yeah, it's been... Yeah, ages. I mean, not since generations. The, uh, yeah, well, you know, not since the like early two thousands uh, when we got uh, financing over here for things like uh, Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo twenty forty mm. and uh, original Ghost in the Shell movie, things along those lines. Um, it's definitely, and, and it, it, you know, we haven't certainly haven't seen it like this where it's been publicly announced by an American company saying we are going to make this. Wow. Um, so yeah, and it, which indicates this might be uh the beginning of a of a, a new trend all the success of 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 anime fans showing up and uh buying stuff has actually fueled the u.s to to do this and actually i just realized i misspoke uh this is not the first time it's been done toonami did it with igpx did they? Yes. IGPX was a co-production between them and Gonzo, I believe, mm. which they came out and said, yeah, we are commissioning an anime series from Gonzo called IGPX. Um, and uh, it didn't, didn't do quite as well as they wanted, but it seemed to do fine. Um, and yeah, I mean, the advantage here is that Turner has a lot of money. You know, the, the, the Turner Broadcasting Empire um, has cash to throw around at projects sometimes. And obviously, Toonami kind of goes up and down. Like, <laughs> Cartoon Network, money comes and money goes. But who knows? Um, the, we do know a bit about the planned plot of it. Oh. So it's set many years after the events of the original story. Um, the war between medical mechanica and fraternity continues to rage. <laughs> um, there is, uh, you start with a young teenage girl named Hidomi, who has a completely average, normal, dull life, until a new teacher named Haruko arrives at her school. Hmm. Hmm. Wouldn't be a bass playing teacher, would it? <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> and so soon enough, Medical Mechanica is attacking their town, and uh, a secret is revealed. Uh, so who knows what's going on, if she still has the guitar, if she still has the Vespa. <laughs> um, it, will Canty show up? Ooh, yeah. That would be nice. Um, it's one of the interesting things about this story, um, actually, is when you have something that's being recommissioned because of it, the, the fan response, there's going to be a tendency for it to be a more fan-oriented story. So the question is, is this going to be... I mean, Furry Curry was definitely the creator's vision. <laughs> 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 so, 
So is this going to be more of a fan play? Hmm. Or is it going to be something where they just kind of go nuts in their own direction and they may not really pull out as much from the original story? Ah, it, it should be exciting to find out. Definitely. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a very exciting one. Um, so as we mentioned, 2017 or 2018 is when we will probably see it, depending on how long it takes to, to make an anime of this presumed budget and caliber. And given how p uh, busy production IG is, it's going to take a while. Hmm. Well, anything good is worth waiting for. Absolutely. So we, we have a, a little while uh, and we will see where that goes. It's very exciting. And six episodes was just not enough. <laughs> <laughs> For years I've been, oh, why don't they, why don't they? And yeah. I'm sure lots of fans out there have the same sentiments. So. Oh, absolutely. Um, and uh, and we should probably also mention, actually, while we're at it, because this, this has been the big news story for a while. Um, this is a great one. <laughs> um, is that uh, McDonald's in Japan released a recent uh, video. Uh, it's a uh, about an 80-second ad uh, for McDonald's. And they did this, if we can actually pull it over here one second. Um, they, they did this to advertise McDonald's. And it is basically uh, an ad about um, a, a girl going to work at McDonald's. And it's a completely anime style ad uh, done in Japan. And a couple of interesting things about this. A, is it's definitely a recruitment ad. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It, it's, it's very cute. Uh, uh, lots of, of great expression work being done. You see a couple of interesting things about um, different kind of uh, uh, styles of people. <laughs> you see different kind of character designs and such. But the characters are characters' voices change depending on what region you're watching it in. So I could be in Osaka and get an Osaka mm -hmm. accent. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Uh, so they will they will change as as you see different things. Um, but that said, all of the girls in here, as far as I know, are voiced by members of AKB48, the pop idol group. Wow. Yes. So they were all essentially commissioned to do that in various singers are playing various characters depending on what region you're in. There's a really neat way of personalizing it for different things. And, uh, and of course, here everything comes back around and cycles. <laughs> so what's interesting about this is not just the fact that we get this cute little ad. It's the fact that McDonald's is using anime to advertise. That's... That's a testament to anime. <laughs> Absolutely. And the, right. And you know, the idea that it's likely that, um, you know, youth will come to work at McDonald's because of seeing anime, right? Yeah. That's going to appeal to them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, appeal to me. <laughs> hey, hey, absolutely. Um, and it's tough for someone like McDonald's because, I mean, we all have this sense of what working at McDonald's is like, mm. right? And may not have the best reputation. Uh, in Japan, it's a little different. Yeah. Um, but trying to capitalize on that. And the other interesting thing about this is that like, they don't suggest that it's all smiles and wonderful all the there, time. There was work. Yeah. There was learning curve. <laughs> it's, it's a big but learning curve. it wasn't curve. something that she couldn't overcome. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And she became the manager <laughs> at some point. <laughs> the, the, rose to the mm -hmm. position and got the skills. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's interesting seeing anime kind of take on this role as something beyond just the... The fandom, uh, you know, being being used to pull in other people, uh, while also obviously, you know, giving us something for the fans. Yeah, kind of I like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's the news for the week. Thank you all for joining us. Hope this has been helpful. See you all next time.